Welcome to our May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today we are going to talk about how to choose gaming PC parts. We have two parts in this video. Part one: What the parts do we have in a PC? Part two: How to choose the parts? Let's turn to part one: What the parts do we have in a PC? Build a PC by yourself seems like a fantastic thing. But when it comes to choose the parts and make them all compatible with each other, may be difficult for some new PC builder. Before we choose the parts, we need to take a look at what the parts are in a PC. Basically, are CPU, motherboard, memory, hard drive, GPU, power, case, cooler. Now you know what exactly the parts we need when we build a PC. Let's keep moving. Part two. How to choose the parts? Number one, CPU. CPU is also called processor. Just like any electronic device, the processor is the brain of a PC. The CPU performs basic arithmetic, logic, controlling, and input or output operations. The two most common processors are Intel and AMD. Good gaming CPUs range from two hundred and fifty up to five hundred dollars. Generally, the more courses and threads a processor has, the better performance it can give. The Ryzen 5 3600 is an excellent choice for mid-range gaming. It is better than the Intel Core i5-8400 and offers superior performance. Number 2. Motherboard If the processor acts as the brain, the motherboard serves as the nervous system. It distributes all the commands the processor sends to all the components. Common motherboard brands are Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, and ASRock. And a good motherboard is starting around $100 to $200. In order to ensure a fast response rate, a motherboard should be able to handle the load of the games being played. The MSI B450 Gaming Plus is a reliable motherboard that will deliver everything needed to run the Ryzen 5 3600. Number 3. RAM RAM is short for Random Access Memory. It's a form of computer memory. It can be read and changed in any order. It is typically used to store working data and machine code. There are many options to choose RAM, like Adata, Ballistics, Corsair. They are all good brands. RAM modules cost around $40 a piece, depending on their size, clock speed, and timing. It's always a good idea to purchase RAM that is suitable for a CPU. You can improve PC performance slightly with faster RAM. DDR4 is the best value RAM you can get. Number 4. HDD and SSD HDD and SSD are data storage device. They store and retrieve digital data. We use SSD as primary storage and use HDD as our computer's additional storage for SSD's higher data transfer rate and better reliability. Common HDDs are Western Digital, Seagate. Common SSDs are Samsung, Toshiba. HDD's price is according to its capacity. Basically, 1 terabyte HDD is around $50. SSD's price is twice higher as HDD. As for HDD, if we want it performs better, we should consider high-speed one. And as for SDD, it is a little bit complicated, so we recommend ordinary users try to choose mainstream models of first-line brands. Among them, WD Black HDD offers speed and reliability over capacity. Adelink S70 delivers a snappy response at an agreeable price. Number 5. GPU GPU is a microprocessor. It does image and graphics related operations. It makes the graphics card less dependent on the CPU and performs part of the original CPU's work. Common video cards used for gaming CPUs are Nvidia and AMD. You can buy a mid-level graphics card for at least $300, but the high-end ones will cost you at least $600 to $1,300. Since everything about gaming is visual, a high-performance graphics card is a must. The higher the capacity of the card, the better the visual it can produce. 
5700XT is quite easy to pick, and it's a good replacement for the NVIDIA 2016 Super. Number 6. Power Supply Antique, Corsair are well recognized as the best computer power supply brands. Prices of power supplies depending on the wattage rating and the 80 plus rating for efficiency. You can buy a 1500 watt power supply for around 30 to 250 dollars. PC peripherals designed for gaming requires a lot of power to do all the important processes. Choosing a high wattage power supply will ensure your rig gets the right amount of electricity it needs to run. Corsair has an excellent and well-deserved reputation for its power supplies, and the TX650M comes at a reasonable price and delivers 80 plus gold efficiency. Number 7. Case Common case brands are Corsair, Fractal Design, and NZXT. Cases can be as stylish as you want and the price is also according to your choice. NZXT H510 is reasonably priced, which is always a bonus. Number 8. Cooler Common cooler brands are Cooler Master, NZXT. The price of cooler range from $30 to $100, depending on its grade. Some CPUs come with decent stocks coolers, and most higher-end Intel CPUs don't come with coolers. If you pursue a quiet environment, Choosing a high-level cooler will have better performance. Or if you're overclocking, you can either get an all-in-one water cooling solution that will cost hundreds of dollars. If price and ease of install are your primary concerns, an air cooler is likely your best choice. Cooler Masters under $40 Hyper 220 offers better performance than stock cooling solutions without adding much to your build budget. That is all about choosing gaming PC parts. Hope you can get what you need after watching this video. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.